Hey everyone, this is Ninjax doing another video on War of the Roses, and today I want to talk about blocking and counterattacking. I know there are a lot of players out there who are not blocking. They're just using heavy armor or whatever weapon they want to use, and they're constantly attacking, constantly trading hits with people, and that's fine. You know, that's a very effective strategy. There's a lot of people who get really high scores using that same playstyle. It's fine and all, but this is me playing. I'm going to show you how I play. It's going to be more focused on blocking and counter-attacking. And uh, what I really like about this strategy is that provided you have the skills to block correctly, you're going to be able to put yourself in really good situations where you never take damage. If you block every single attack, theoretically, you will never take damage from melee opponents. Archers, horsemen, that's another story, but for now, I'm just talking about melee. Okay, so for this game, I'm going to focus a lot more on blocking. I'm going to get into fights and just block. I, I will attack, but I'm just going to show you how effective blocking can be in staying alive. You don't need heavy weapons, oh sorry, you don't need heavy armors to protect yourself. Provided you can block very well, you're going to be able to live. There's a horseman there, I don't know if I want to engage, so I'm just going to hide in the shack, hopefully that horseman is going to go away. My little sword is not going to be able to do well against that lance. That guy there seems to be isolated. I'm gonna help him out. That guy's bleeding, so let me just kill him really quickly and maybe backstab a few guys. Okay, so that guy's using a spear. I just need to down block and he's going to not be able to hit me. So I'm just gonna show you. I'm just gonna down block like this. And look, he can't do he can't do anything. Look, he can't do anything. Look at him. He has no clue what to do. He's trying to like shield bash me, he's trying to stab me. And then there, there you go, he's dead. So that's an easy one. That's a guy with a spear. Spear can only stab you in one direction if they have a shield. So all I needed to do there was hold down block, and his stabs will never do damage to me. Very simple opponent, very easy to beat. Okay, let's move on. It's fine. Tougher opponent. Maybe some of the sword, so there are four directions of attack, not just one. Uh, nope, no enemies there. I really don't want to walk in the middle of that field. One thing about this map is when you get caught in the open like that, there are going to be archers, there are going to be horsemen running you down, so really got to stay near the edge where there are towns where you can retreat to up block. Nope. L right block. And a left block. Okay, someone just shot me. My teammate just shot me in the head. Very good job. Okay, that guy's going to go down. Okay, there's a guy coming right at me and there's a very easy left block. Alright, and come on. Come on. Okay, move up. And a right block, very easy. Okay, there's a lance. Please don't kill me with the lance. Okay. I'm just gonna back it out. Make sure I'm not in the position to get lance. Going back to this guy, easy right block. And is he gonna do anything? Okay, let me just slash him once. Okay. Come on, attack me. I wanna show you how to block. Get down block, and there's another guy. Okay, let's play a two on one. It's gonna be a lot easier for me to show you. There is. Oops! Oh, I got sniped. <laughs> well, I'm not going to show you anything when I get sniped. But as you can see in that fight, provided you can read your opponent's attack very well and block accordingly, you're not going to take damage. In that two-on-one situation, I'm pretty confident I can block all of their attacks. I wouldn't say all. I think uh, eventually I might make a mistake and die. But even in a two-on-one situation, many times I can just pr uh, rely on good footwork, good block, and still stay alive for very long periods of time. But uh, I got sniped. By uh, Black Rose Company, I see him a lot, but uh, he's gonna be very proud seeing himself snipe me on uh, on YouTube. Okay, I'm gonna fight this guy. He's gonna use a shield and a one-handed sword. The surrounding looks very clear, so uh, do a quick stab. There is a right block. There is another right. He's gonna miss the attack. There is another right. All right. Mm, you're just gonna keep attacking the same direction. There is an up attack. There is a down attack. Ooh, he almost got me there. Block. No, he didn't even hit me. Another block. He didn't even hit me. He needs to hit me. There you go. Now you're hitting me. And a left side. And a right side. And another right. And okay, he needs to change directions. You know, I can read your attacks very well if you just keep attacking the same direction. Looks like he's not using his brain. Stay still the same. Uh, there you go. Now you're changing the direction. And a stop. Down block. And an up block. Don't be afraid to try blocking. I'll tell you right now, blocking 
it was a lot easier in this game than Mountain Blade. Mountain Blade is really fast. People can change directions really quickly. And uh, compared to comparing this game to Mountain Blade, this is slow. This is very easy to read. There's another left. Another left. So you can do this all day. Because I'm just going to block him. And provided I have a uh, good ping, provided I have good reaction time, he's never going to do damage to me. It doesn't matter what armor I'm wearing. I can wear heavy armor. I can be naked. But I can't be naked this game, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to wear light armor. Eventually, even peasant ranks is going to be enough for me. Alright, I think uh, I... I spent enough time toying with this guy. I'm just gonna finish him off. Uh, okay. So, okay, my stabs are not doing damage. There we go. There's a block and an attack. A block and an attack. And a block and an attack. See that? It's a rhythm. You just gotta get get to the rhythm and block. And he didn't even hit me. Block. Okay, he needs to hit me. There we go. Now he's bleeding. And down block. Okay, he finished him off. Okay, so there you see a lot of the blocking and a little bit of counter-attacking at the end. I'm going to tell you the key reason why this strategy works. And the key reason why is that after every successful block, there's a timing window where your opponent cannot block. So if you block him and you counter-attack, you're going to do damage if you hit him. So I'm going to show you what I mean with this duel. I'm going to initiate the attack. He's going to draw his shield. So looking for his left attack, counter attack. That stop there, he could not block it. Because I blocked his attack successfully. And as I said, there's going to be a timing window where he cannot uh, block that follow up attack. So he's going to do some kind of buff. I don't know what it is. I don't really care. Looking for his attack. Left side. Nope, he's going to bash me. And a right block and a counter attack. 32 damage, just like that. So... Gonna maybe bait out with an attack here. And a left block and a counter attack. He is bleeding. Down block, counter attack. He is dead. So, as you can see there, it doesn't matter what armor he's wearing. It doesn't matter what armor I'm wearing. As long as I can block his attack and counter attack, he's gonna take damage. Now, that guy is reviving him. That guy's Skipper. Skipper has a really high ping. He's at 300 ping, so I'm trying to avoid him in this server. Anyone who has over 200 ping, it's becoming really dicey to block them. Okay, I don't know how the heck he caught up to me. Okay, watch this. He's gonna do a... See that? I'm gonna do a block. You see that? I'm gonna do a block. That one, that one worked. And this one's gonna work because it's slow. And that one's gonna work. And down block. And a side block. See that? It just... Look at that. Skipper just killed me. I execute the per perfect direction block. And it went right through it just because of the of his ping. 300 ping, top of the score. Developers, please tell me you're going to do something about that. Because it's been, it's been so frustrating playing with players like this. Anyone over 200 ping, I'm trying to block them. I know if I ex execute the per perfect direction for the block, but it just goes through. It's really frustrating. So developers, please look at that and do something about it. It's, uh, it's not good for the game, man. It's not good for the game. Anyways, moving on. Uh, but I feel like so far I did a pretty good job showing you why this uh, this style works. If you go for a two-handed weapon and you try and smash attack and trade hits with people, yeah, it's going to work. It's going to do a decent amount of damage. But the biggest problem is that you're going to take damage as a result. Okay, that guy is uh, two-on-one and this guy's using a dagger for some reason. See, with daggers... Oh, God. With daggers, I don't bo bother blocking. I just really... Okay, never mind. Let me finish this first. What I was saying is that um, with daggers, I just like to backpedal and use my range as a, an advantage. It's going to be a two on one. Uh, looking for some blocks. So that's an obvious block. And a counter attack. Stop him there. He's going to die. And looking for his attack. Okay, he's just going to use shield dash. Down block? No, he didn't even hit me. And a left block, very obvious, and a counter. And a very obvious left attack, followed by a counter. And that guy, I don't like him. He's trying to revive him. And uh, I'm trying to get myself in a position where they can't do it. Get a quick stab here. Down block. Stab. Okay, now he's bleeding. And 
looking for a down block and a charge and a stop. Still not dead. He's got a shield. So he's gonna bleed out eventually. Okay, yeah, he's gonna bleed out. Okay, now looking for this guy. Down block and counter attack. Unfortunately, counter attack did not uh, go so well. I don't know what's it with these guys bashing. Okay, this guy attacked through my attack for uh, my block for some reason. And come on, looking for your attack. Down block and counter attack. Six damage only. Could have hit it a little bit better. Up block and a counter attack. There we go. There is a killing blow. So, I mean, I hope this is a very good example of why I use this style. There's a guy coming towards me, so I'm going to heal up. He might even charge. Oh god. I just healed up, but I took one swing. It's not a big deal. He's got a really slow weapon, so that's a very obvious left. Obvious down. Okay, and counter attack. I'm not going to hit the counter attack, unfortunately. Okay, and there is a very easy to read attack. Another one. 16 damage. Okay, now it's a bad time. Okay, gonna die there. Yep, as I said, archers, you can't really do much about it. They hit you, they hit you. Whatever. Uh, but as you can see right there, that was like a three-on-one fight. No, it was a two-on-one, and then another guy came and became a, I don't know, a two-on-one again. But point being, if you block them well, you're just not gonna take any damage, and you can constantly apply pressure by counter-attacking, chipping them down, one very important thing to uh, to understand is that this style of blocking and counter-attacking doesn't have to be one-handed sword. If you like other weapons, you can still use other weapons. It's just that you're using it differently. Instead of using a weapon for just attacking, learning how to block and counter-attacking is going to increase your survivability by so much. My last video, I got 18 and 0. Honestly, I don't get scores like that every day, every game. But the reason why I can get these scores is because I can block. I don't have to trade hits with people. I can just rely on really good blocks, never take damage. There's a quick stab. This guy is trying to play tricky on me. But, uh, yeah, see? Okay, block. How, how did that go through my block? I don't understand this game anymore. What, what kind of ping is he at? He's not even a high ping. Maybe it's just me playing bad. There's a block and a counter. Counter is not going to work. Very obvious left attack for a counter. Ups. Nope, he didn't commit. Right block, counter attack. Left block. Nope, he didn't hit me. Left block. What? How? No, how did that hit me? I don't understand this game. Block. Nope, not in range for a counter attack. And then very obvious up. Nope, he's gonna change direction to a left. Yeah, it's gonna get me here. Unless I do something like this. And something like no, 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 no. Almost got him for the bleed, but that fight was really weird. There were two attacks where I was blocking in the right direction, but it just went through me. It felt like he was clipping through me. He was like walking right through me, and then it somehow walked through my block. Uh, that's one thing I really want to talk about with the developers. Like, why is this collision so bad? The collision with teammate is really good. I'll show you that right now. Here's my teammates. Look, look how good the, the collision is. I cannot walk through him. But when it comes to the enemies, I don't know why. Like, I'm sure a lot of you experienced this already. They just walk right through you. It was even worse than uh, in beta at one point. They said they improved it, but I don't know. There's, there's still so many situations where it feels like they walk through me and it just goes through my attack. I mean, sure, it goes through my blocks. Here's a two-on-one situation. So, it's going to be a really good uh, demonstration. There's going to be a very obvious down attack. Okay, it's going to be a quick stab. Looks like he's not committing to the attack. And there is going to be a left attack and a counter. Come on, attack me. Okay, this guy is healing. I don't like that. Down block attack. And... Okay, that guy is drawing his bow already. What a, what a sissy. Okay, that guy is dead. So, gonna go for him. He's, is he bandaging? He can bandage. Okay, so he's gonna go for his dagger. Nope, gonna draw his one-handed sword. Looking for his attack. Any attacks? There is a right attack and a counter attack. Bleeding. Left block and a finishing blow. Nope, he blocks it. And my teammate is gonna finish him off. 
Alright, the round is coming to an end, so I'm just going to wrap it up very clearly. There's a reason why I block in a counter attack. There's a reason why I don't spam attack. Is because if you spam attack and trade hits with people, you will eventually die. Sure, you can get a whole lot of whole lot of points, and it's a lot easier to do. But when you get your blocks going, and if you if you're really skilled at it, you can just use it over and over again to win really like like impossible fights. Three on one, no problem. I just block them all, counter attack, and I still kill them. So it's really a skill that every player should develop eventually. I know there are a lot of new players, they're not used to the melee mechanics yet, so they're really happy just spamming attack, and that's fine. But if you're looking to really improve your skills, play a lot better. Blocking is the way to go. I'm gonna assassinate this guy, this might end the round. Uh, okay. There we go. That's gonna end the round. 100 points to 90 points, pretty close round. And uh, yeah, I showcase a lot of good fights in this, uh, in this video. A lot of reasons why blocking is superior than just spamming attack. So, not the best score of this game, it's more of an illustration video to show you why my style works. I got myself in a lot of bad situations, got sniped a couple times, but don't worry about the score too much. Really, just take away why the style is effective and why I use it. And I feel like in order for players to evolve to the next level, they're going to need to learn how to block to deal with situations that I've been through and still get away alive, okay? Anyways, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As I said, if you uh, liked it, thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment. I read all my comments and I try to respond to them uh, whenever I can. So this is Ninjak signing out. More videos will come and I'll see you guys next time.